Here at Consumer Reports Auto Test Track, we are gearing up for the Consumer Electronics Show in January. Here are five trends we see coming. One of the most exciting trends we're seeing involves autonomous or self-driving vehicles. This is a rapidly changing community of technology, and the amount of package size it takes inside the car is shrinking from this to this. Now, this, the one intriguing thing with this is that you see various vehicles like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which basically lets you drive down the road with your hands barely resting on the vehicle, and it will guide you through whatever traffic you need to get through. It will brake the car, it will steer you around corners, and all you need to do is leave your hands on the vehicle just in case. Last year at CES, we drove a self-driving vehicle from Audi. Also, more recently, Tesla has shown a lot of self-driving innovations. A lot of fuss has been made over the Google car, which is a self-driving vehicle entirely. It will navigate you where you need to go, it will make corners, and yet, it's still a very emerging technology. It's something that might have a better place in terms of corporate campuses or senior retirement communities, places where it's a very controlled environment. And this is the struggle of autonomous cars, is how they interact with us humans, who are very unpredictable. Another interesting area is the mobile user experience, which provides accessibility for your smartphone's apps into the center screen of your car's display. This right now is going to be mostly Apple's CarPlay system and Google's Android Auto system, both of which will be displayed at CES. Here at the test track, we have used both Android Auto and CarPlay. We found both to be highly capable and better than most manufacturers' bespoke systems. Another area involves heads-up display units. In other words, keeping your eyes on the road instead of down at the instruments or at the center console. In terms of what you might see on your windshield, that might be limited as car makers are wary about too much driver distraction. Right now, the most advanced heads-up displays have basic navigation, speedometer, maybe your range till empty. Now, manufacturers are trying to draw a fine line between giving you too much information that leads to distraction and a little bit more information that keeps your eyes off the road. We'll see more of those things at CES. Another area that automakers are getting into is gesture control. Now, if you have kids, you're familiar with this with your PlayStation or Leap Motion or HP's Envy systems. All of these use the motion of the body or your hands to control what happens on screen. We're starting to see more of this from automakers, where maybe you do this to turn up the volume or this to change the channel. The problem is, is when the system knows to interact with you because some people are very animated when they talk to their passengers or to other drivers. One of the most exciting areas involves predictive logic, geolocating, and other things that turn your car into a smart car. This involves things like knowing that it's a certain temperature outside and it preheats the seats for you so that you don't have to. Another thing we're seeing from Tesla is using the car's GPS system to remember various commands. So it remembers if you've used the car's air suspension to raise the car as you come up to a steep driveway. The next time the GPS detects you're in the area, it automatically raises the car for you. It's a very exciting technology that we hope to see this year.